tired, you get tired. So I say, get rehired, not retired, right? Rehired. Yeah. Do something, do something you enjoy doing, helping others or whatever you have to do. And that's what I recommend people to do because if you retire to doing nothing, then your health is going to deteriorate really quickly. which is a kind of miraculous, right? Oh, <laughs> You're still so used to doing it, yeah. yeah. But now it's closed and we just have to make sure that it's got good skin underneath it. So we'll just clean out a little bit of the calluses here. So really great to see. I was really happy to see today that the hole was closed. Even a couple of months ago, there was a still a uh, hole open, so. It's great news that he's doing really well. He's got to make sure that it doesn't open up again. So you, you're wearing your uh, brace too, right? Oh, uh, no, just my shoes now. Oh, oh you haven't even worn the, uh, the braces? No. Nope. Okay, very good. So that's that's another hassle out of the way, huh? Yeah, I'll say. The, the brace was pretty um, bulky and very difficult to get around, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I still need it to, to walk on like the tile floor. Oh, I see. But I can walk barefoot on the carpet now. Wow. That's a great improvement. Very happy. Very happy for him that we're able to help him. So he has a little bit of um, little bit of a scab in there too. So I don't want to irritate it too much, but we'll get some calcis around it off so that uh, it won't cause any problem for him. So, so how's everything else? You've been busy visiting your patients? Well, I'll say. You've been busy? I don't know. I think I'm busier now than before I retired. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes sometimes that's a good thing, you know? Keeps you busy, right? Yeah, it does keep me busy. Keeps so. you busy, keeps you active. If I was home, I'd go crazy. Yeah, exactly. So we got to be doing something, even after retirement. Hopefully you won't retire because when you retire, you get tired. So I say get rehired, not retired, right? Rehired. Yeah. Do something, do something you enjoy doing, helping others or whatever you have to do. And that's what I recommend people to do because if you retire to doing nothing, then your health is going to deteriorate really quickly, All right? You have to stay active and get your mind sharp because if your mind's not active and then just kind of not taking care of your rest of the body, then that's not a good thing, right? Yeah. That's how I see people age really quickly. Oh, I know. All right. Do, do you know how long they say people live after retirement? No. I read a study years ago. I don't know if it's true right now, but they say you live 18 months. Average, 18 months after your retirement. That means some people die right after the retirement. Oh, hell no. <laughs> so you pretty much retire to die, you see? Yeah. So I said, when I when I saw that, I said, you know what, I'm not going to retire. I'm going to keep working, doing yeah. something, right? I just turned 68 Friday. Oh, is that right? Oh, you look great. I can hardly say that now. <laughs> it sounds natural. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Look at, look at that. That looks really nice. I just have to keep it down. There's a little bit more healing to do, but it's still closed. So I don't want to interrupt that too much today, but I cleaned out all the calluses around this, so it doesn't cause any trouble. So I'm very happy for it. Look how nice that is. But they say, in fact, I have a patient who completely healed from his knee problem. He needed a... Um, um, whole joint uh, replacement mm -hmm. and then what he did was he would eat chicken feet every day and then it doesn't need the surgery anymore you see and I believe that mm -hmm. because chicken feet have the most car collagen and to rebuild your cartilage so mm -hmm. I highly recommend if you can't have the chicken feet just have bone broth soup very easy just get some bones and then you boil it put some spices in it mm -hmm. like garlic ginger and then drink it mm -hmm. you can eat, have some meat too 
but drink two cups every day. That gets you better skin. That's gonna get you better cartilage and joints. It's gonna it's gonna have a better hair. Everything. It just enhances all your cartilage and collagen in your whole system, which is a very important thing that we're not talking about. So okay. it's bleeding a little. So it's when these edges bleed, which means this new cells are gonna come in. So you can see from the last video, it's a lot smaller now. So new tissue growth. Here's some removing all the unhealthy tissue. That will create new tissue below it so it'll heal from the inside out. So this is not healthy. This kind of prevents new skin from forming, so we'll cut this away. So I like to actually see all the bleeding and the red tissue because that's how I know the skin is going to eventually. You want, you want steady sugar level. To do that, um, you know, insulin should only be used in emergency only. Right. Yeah, he was, uh, he was telling me the medicine, the pill that I take is designed to it uh, basically it draws whatever carbs you eat. It draws it out of your body through your kidneys. Mm -hmm. um, so like you know like uh, carb like whatever you know it breaks down the sugar I guess. And it, it, so he said it's designed to do that and protect your kidneys. I guess. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it works pretty well. Obviously, it makes you go a lot. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, it works well for sure, but it uh, it drops it down a lot. Yeah. So you're, you 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 kind of feel bad, you know. Yeah. And then, well, you built a lot of cows here. I'm still working oh, on really? it. Oh really? Yeah. And you know what's funny is, um, like before my my it started hurting. I tried to like you know, with the pumice and all that. Mm -hmm. I try to do it to at least keep it down. So mm -hmm. man, it's yeah, it builds up quickly. So I know I probably need orthotics. Yeah, you need For to sure. take the pressure off the area yeah. because it's uh, you're kind of flat-footed here. Yeah. Mechanically, when you flat-foot it, um, pressure goes when you're walking. Okay. How's your diabetes lately? Uh, it's been fine. Like where do they where do they run? Um, I don't know. I haven't had tested lately for uh, blood sugar. Um, I have gained some weight with the uh, with uh, the uh, working at home. Oh yeah. Do you have the kit yourself at home? Or? Yes, I do. So how often you test it? Um, usually, usually every morning, but not for the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. But there hasn't really been a rise in my blood sugar. That I've no. I, no. And I'm still eating well. I'm just eating too much. Really. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating the good stuff though, not the bad stuff? Yeah, the good stuff, not the bad stuff. Uh-huh, that's good. I just tend to, because it's, it's, because it's boring being home all the time, I tend to graze during the day, so. Right. It's hard, it's hard these days. They call it COVID-19, right? Yep. You gain 19 pounds. <laughs> Some people, COVID-30. Right. As, as the lockdown gets longer and longer. I think, I, I think I'm almost at COVID-19, probably COVID-17. COVID-17. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looks like they're gonna lock down again, so. I know it. Looks like it's gonna be, soon it'll be COVID-50. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, we'll try to go the other way. Uh, hasn't been easy keeping a you know, oh, mm -hmm. you're bleeding well, which is good. So.
Well, you're bleeding pretty well. Oh, yeah. Um, this is my chart. I, did, I am on blood thinners. So. Oh, you're on blood thinners, huh? Yeah. And think we have, a, we have another audience here. We gotta, <laughs> you gotta, fl you gotta fly around here. He's intrigued. Yeah, he wants to know what's happening. He's probably smelling something, you know. What what blood thinner are you on? Zerelta. Oh, Zerelta. Okay. You've been on it for a long time. Uh, about a year. Oh, about a year. Okay. Is that for your heart mainly, or no uh, DVTs? I have. Uh, oh, you have DVTs. I have too? both legs. Yeah. Oh. So where were you going with your with your bike? I was uh, just out for some exercise, pretty much. Uh, headed down, bike down from. Uh, the lot shore to Newport Beach. Oh, okay. Uh, not Newport Beach, Newport, yeah. That's a good distance, huh? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you don't eat that much. No, it's what I was eating me at dinner time sometimes. Uh-huh. What do you like for dinner? We usually eat like a sopa, a Mexican soup. Uh huh And, uh... What's in the soup? Huh? Like noodles, it's like a mm -hmm. macaroni noodles. Uh -huh. And then make uh, they make soup, all kinds of vegetable soup, or mm -hmm. or she make uh, what else she make? Chili rattles, or chili. I do like a lot. Of, we do a lot of vegetables. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The macaroni noodles will raise uh, your blood sugar, though. Our problem to uh, eat a lot of white rice. Hmm? Our problem to eat a lot of white rice. You got you like rice, huh? Oh yeah, we eat a lot of white rice. You like white white rice, huh? Mm -hmm. I know I like rice too. <laughs> you eat that by itself. <laughs> right? I know that's the problem. We, it's so good and it's yeah. hard hard not to eat that. I took some nails out because that's what was not allowing this also to heal. Oh, okay. It's kind of a sharp edges that were in there. Mm -hmm. So I took those out. Okay. And you're bleeding well though. Mm -hmm. You need to eat less of those uh, macaroni and stuff. Mm 